Hey everyone, today we're going to be doing a sketchbook tour. I already did the first half of this sketchbook in a previous tour because I like to kind of do a long talky chatty video so I do half the sketchbook first and then the other half next if that makes sense. I'll link this video down below but yeah you can see here a quick flick through if you're interested. I go more into or more in depth in that video um, which posted back in January so it shows you how long it took me to finish a sketchbook. I think we finished off here with this Kiki drawing. I think in between this I worked on my comic so a lot of stuff was done outside of this sketchbook if that makes sense so yeah so here is some character sketches for my new comic which are these um, you've probably already seen them if you've been watching my channel um, basically this is this guy I just did a quick character designs for this I don't know why for my comic I kind of just really went with character designs worked on them quite quickly I think just because it was kind of a blocker for me to have these characters I think I was like I don't know worried about drawing them so um, this is a character from the other comic wishing on a star so this is her and uh, yeah, so really quick sketches. As you can see from my sketchbook, I do do like more detailed pieces and then like some pages are just really rough sketchy stuff. Here is just like an experiment getting back into the sketchbook because I think after I finish the comics, I always feel like a bit art blocked because I don't know where to go from there, if that makes sense. Because it's like once you achieve that goal, it's kind of like, okay, now I'm back at square one, one where I don't really have this task or this deadline so I'm like where do I go from here if that makes sense and here is just a big Ghibli kind of pencil drawing page because I was art blocked or not art blocked I guess but more like just well I guess it is art block you don't know what to draw but you do feel like drawing I don't know then I thought I was gonna do a Kickstarter for the comics uh, that didn't work out for me so these are just like rough sketches of what the banner could be here are some terrible um, ink drawings that I really didn't like, but I think I was just freehand ink drawing and just trying to be like get back into the groove because at the beginning of this sketchbook I was like really in the groove of like drawing and I don't know, I felt really inspired doing stuff and then I just had a big slump after the comics. But yeah, it does pick up again, so it's kind of alright. Here are some maybe emotes for um, my Twitch, I just sketched out some stuff. I kind of like these, so I don't know which ones I like the best because I only really get five, so I have to like think which ones I want to do. Here's some cover work, so you can see it's like super sketchy. And then after that, um, I did some painting slash ink work. And yeah, I do kind of like these, but you can still see that I'm still in that phase of like, what am I doing? And here especially is a big like, what the heck am I going? What am I doing? What are I, like, I'm just experimenting with lots of different types of me media here. So I'm using like lots of pastels, inks, and then I even used like shiny nail varnish, which was a mistake because it looks a bit weird. But anyway, I go from there to just like sketching out like photos of my nieces and my cats and like, I just thought what I'll do is I'll just go with reference stuff to help me get out of this art block. And here is some more quick sketchy stuff for hands. And then you start to get back into like feeling it again, if that makes sense. We kind of break out of the art block here. So I'm using a really like limited color palette here and trying to just go with like doing lots of little drawings with limited color palettes. And then I decided that I liked these small little sketchy things of just a horizon so I wanted to do like a a set of these for the Patreon print that month um, I just wanted to think about like changing my icon for YouTube and Instagram because I feel like the one I have now is a bit dated and it doesn't really describe my content it's just kind of like a silly doodle so I was thinking like I should do something a little bit more up to date of who I am and stuff so I'm thinking like something like this but I still need to work on it I did a little witch doodle here which I quite liked here are the little um, sketchy I mean not sketchy like 
I used my alcohol markers, I believe, and pencils and Poskas here. I wanted to do three prints, like three mini prints in a row, and I didn't like this one, so I ended up doing another one here. And I like them, I like the way that they turned out. I, I really like this one, probably because it's more like the color palette that I like, but yeah, I like that one the best. And yeah, just trying to loosen up. So I was like drawing different little things online and I, I don't know what this page is. It's just experimenting again with trying to use like limited colors. Then I started to watch uh, The Real Housewives of New Jersey. Well, I didn't start to watch it, I was watching it. And then I wanted to draw like the characters and stuff. So I'm doing this thing where I like pause it and then just like draw the characters. And I think it's really funny. And uh, I really like the style of drawing where it's like kind of a caricature, but like in between a caricature and an illustration kind of thing. I drew this book cover. This is a book cover for the Beautiful Ones, which is a book by an author that uh, we read for a book club. So I wanted to suggest that we read that for a book club at a point. And uh, we, uh, this is my friend, is drawing my friend. And then I did like a rough sketch here um, that I kind of like, but also I'm on the fence about. I'm not sure about it, like what it is that I like or don't like. I decided to do a study of just pink colors and I, there's parts of this illustration that I really like like I really like this foreground with the pencil work and then I don't like so much the mountains like I think it's just the shading there so it's kind of like this bit I really like and then that bit I'm like oh kind of ruined it but yeah I think it's kind of cool then I got into trying to just I don't know at this point, like I'm trying to experiment with different mediums and just have fun with everything that I'm doing. So like, I think I was just painting like random lily scenes, but this one obviously looks a bit abstract. And then this one, I just wanted to go for it. And I do really like the way that this one turned out. I think it's kind of cool, even though it doesn't really look like what I was trying to paint. I think it's like more of an abstract Thing. and I do like them, they're just a bit weird. <laughs> um, just some sketchy page that I didn't really like. And then I got into using the alcohol markers a bit more, so I really like these fish. And uh, yeah, then I was like trying to replicate it with some jellyfish and just using, again, this really like simple color palette. Um, of course the pages here are really thin in case you guys are wondering and haven't seen the original video It is a Midori uh, Sketchbook and it has really thin paper, but I really like I really like the way that it works with inks and stuff. So I do like using it um, So I did a Kiki's delivery service uh, screen redraw and I really really like this drawing um, it was done with like freehand inks and then also what I did is like I changed the colors completely so I did a more like a color palette that I would use and it's a completely different color palette but you probably wouldn't know that unless you were like seeing the scene side by side but yeah I really like these ones and with the fish as well I was like suddenly I was like ah like I hit something I don't know I hit like a point where I was like oh this is what I really like doing I really like drawing with the, the inks and using the alcohol markers to color in for the ink, I'm using a Copic brush pen. It does let me go over the top with alcohol ink, so that's pretty cool. Um, it does, it can bleed a bit if it's not completely dry. And then I decided to do another Ghibli redraw because I just had fun with it and all the little details and stuff. And also it was helping me get used to using the ink pen because it is kind of hard to control a brush ink. So it's like a brush pen. So it's kind of like hard to control. So I was just trying to get better at that because I know some people online who are really good at like ink brush pens and it looks so nice with the thick and thin lines that you can get. I was just using that to get practice. This is from a book cover paint over. I did a quick sketch before I did it. And that's the Shadow and Bone book cover in case you missed it. And here is like, we've got a new kitten and she's called Mochi and she's pretty freaking crazy. So I was just like doodling out little things. I was thinking about making stickers and stuff, but I don't really like any of these enough 
to make stickers of them. But yeah, it was quite, they're quite cute, so she's a little bit crazy and evil, so it's funny. I did a cover for a scrunchie that I gave out to my patrons. This was kind of like the sticker that I put on um, when I put the comics together. I put them in a plastic packaging and then I put the sticker on that. But now I'm like packaging them a bit differently and packaging them with string. So I'm no longer gonna be using that. Um, and I was thinking about like how to have a little thank you card. So I'm still probably gonna use this maybe, but I'm not sure. I always get like a bit, you know, when you worry about doing something and then it, overwhelms you so much that you don't do it. That's kind of what happens with my thank you cards. And every time that I send a package out without a thank you card, I feel like really bad. But then I'm like, oh, but it needs to be really good. And now I'm like, well, surely if you just get it done, you'd feel better, but yeah. This is probably one of my favorite drawings that I've done in this whole sketchbook. Probably because it's more, it's like completely my idea, but it's also like touches on that Ghibli kind of esque drawings that I was doing. So this is the um, convenience store in the sky. So it's kind of like a witchy um, drawing and then there's like different things that you can purchase and like witchy stuff, which I really, really like. And this is gonna be this month's, well, August's print for Patreon. And I'm gonna do like a set of stickers as well with that. But yeah, I really like that drawing. And then I was like, just doodling stuff. This is pasta was one of those like welcoming kitties. <laughs> and then what I did is like I drew this piece out and then with pencil and then I colored it in on this side and then I went over and inked on this side because I thought it would work out better. And I do like this piece but I don't like it as, as much as the um, convenience store but it's kind of like part of the set because this is the same character kind of returning home and putting away her groceries or whatever she bought from that convenience store. I want to continue the set and maybe do like one of her bathroom. I do attempt that in this, but you'll see. And yeah, I did like um, how I make comics. So I want to do like a, you can't really see this, but I want to do like a whole thing about how I make comics for my patrons. So what I did is I scanned the pages in and I'm working on it on my iPad, but it's going to be like a little how I make comics, like how I do my process and stuff. So I think I'm gonna set that to like the $5 tier so people who wanna read it can. It's not finished yet, so it's gonna be up soon on my Patreon, but yeah, it's like a long in-depth thing ooh, of like how I make comics. And I think it'll be really cool for patrons to see. I hope that it'll be a little bit inspirational, but I don't know. It's, it's kind of different. It's how I do stuff, so it's not like how probably a lot of people do their processes. So I was getting into like drawing. Um, this was like when I was working, so I was just jotting down some notes and I thought I would stick them in here because I really like the, the style. But this is, again, doing some like mochi doodles and I really like the way that they turned out. So I thought I'd stick them in there so I don't forget about them. And here are like the stickers. So what I did, because these are gonna be like the stickers for the convenience store in the sky. So you get like, things that are kind of in the store as the stickers that go along with the print. So that's gonna be for the August set. Where is it going? Uh, yeah, so I'm gonna do it like that. And then uh, what I did is I painted them on, painted, I colored them in on this side and then inked them and I thought they were too bright. So I went again and inked them lightly on this side and I think they look much better. I'm also gonna do like a little receipt that's not gonna be a sticker but it's gonna be as if you've bought this stuff from the convenience store and then I'm gonna do like this sky drop. Um, obviously it's backwards, I'm gonna flip it in Photoshop. Sky drop is the name of the convenience store and I'm gonna make like little packages of stickers for it which will be quite nice. Here are some quick sketches of my cats. Um, it's kind of like a live drawing session but not really. You probably can't see it very well because it's super light. But I really like the way that some of these turned out. I'm just trying to loosen up here and be rough and like quickly jot down what I see, like movement and stuff. So I carried on to the next page and I was like drawing Gigi, who was in a box and things. And I really like this one. <laughs> I just think it encompasses everything that Gigi is, like grumpy, grumpy big cat. So yeah. Um, I think I carried on with just doing sketches of like the cats and me and stuff and just with the pen. Um, with colored pencil and I really enjoyed these sketches. I think they're really cool I really like that one of Mochi and then this one where she's like eating a chip that I was giving her uh, or or a fry as you might say if you're from America. We did a jackalope 
unicorn for this draw slaw stream. I don't know if you know what draw slaw is, but they did a stream where they like draw something for the whole stream, and I didn't realize they were gonna do that. I thought they were gonna do like a few different drawings, so I drew it really quickly. And I was like, I'm done. And then I was just watching the stream, like, oh, they're gonna keep going with this, okay. But I think he's really cute. He's got like a little heart, like a My Little Pony or something. And here's some more sketches from Real Housewives, just sketching out, I think, for like reality shows are really good to pause and like draw people because you get so much expression from them and again I was doing it here with like different inks and things like that different medium and I really like this drawing I think it's really cool with the ink and the, the different colors so yeah just doing that but like with model pictures um, I think I was just like trying to do little sketch out stuff but get more like loose up. I really like the way that this turned out. I think here I was using my handmade inks. Um, if you guys haven't seen that video, basically I made inks out of stuff from my kitchen. And uh, yeah, this purple turned out quite cool and it has like a bit of like a, a texture to it. So it was kind of nice to use. And then these are like some self portraits. So <laughs> I took some pictures of myself like kind of acting these different faces out and then I was drawing them really really quickly to just jot them down like the emotion expression and it's a cool little fun exercise if you guys want to try it to just kind of practice faces and expressions um, yeah so I was just trying that out and then um, this page is kind of like blank because of the ink bleed through um, so I painted this image on this side so I wanted to continue that um, series with the what I said before with the witch and uh, this was going to be like her bathtub but then I didn't really draw her in it or anything but it's kind of nice it's all right I like the windows the best um the cat looks a bit weird and the perspective is a little bit weird so and I wish I had more stuff in it because I feel like that's what makes the other drawings is like it has all like kitschy things in it and this is some sketches of people from Love Island. I don't know if you know what Love Island is, but it's like a British reality TV show. You might have it where you are, but these are some of the people on there. And I really like this sketch of this guy. He's like pink. Um, and then I painted this to like cover up the alcohol inks on each side. And I really like the way that it turned out. I really like the look of it in the sketchbook as well. It's just very expressive. Yeah, I really like that and I think I will go back in and go over places but I'm scared that it will ruin the other side because this did get a bit cracky and it did kind of like, you can't really see it probably but it's like textured this whole page so it does, it's kind of too dangerous to go back in and do it again now but yeah, this is how it looks, I really like this painting, it was just fun to do and then here are more sketches of people from reality TV and yeah some of them are better than others I was practicing trying to draw men a little bit because we all know that I do not like to draw men I don't know why because they're still human beings but it's like it's so different for me I think it's probably just like a mental thing because they have such a different face structure um, I don't know it's a bit silly and then this is the last page where I drew a couple of cats um, one in a book used bookstore and one kind of leaning out a window and I kind of like these, they're cute. And it kind of says it all for my final page of this sketchbook. And I'm really proud of this sketchbook. I'm really proud of a lot of things. I feel like I am getting much better with what I'm doing. I feel like if I compared this sketchbook to a sketchbook I did a few years ago, I think I'd be thrilled. Um, like if I could go back in time and show past me the sketchbook, I think I'd be like, oh, yay, I'm getting somewhere. So I'm really happy with it. And um, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I'm sorry that it's a bit more like laid back and chill than other videos I do, but that's kind of like how I'm feeling right now. I'm just feeling like, yeah, I want to just, you know, chat with you guys. So I hope that you enjoyed this video. And yeah, this is the, the sketchbook. So that's it I hope you guys enjoyed this if you did please give me a thumbs up and a like and if you can't see it please check out my patreon down below it would really mean a lot to me thanks everyone for watching and I'll see you next time hopefully bye